introducing the all-new QNAP TSX53 Pro and TSX51 Turbo NAS series, the new era of NAS. The first generation of personal cloud started with the ability of allowing users to use their mobile phones to access their files securely and remotely, and also share files from their personal cloud over the internet. The second generation consists of a new built-in app center, which allows users to experience their personal cloud in many more ways from QNAP exclusively designed apps to third-party apps. Now we are entering into the third generation, which is quite unique as users can now virtualize their PC. In other words, run their laptop either in Windows or Linux without really owning the physical device or computer. The TSX51 and TSX53 Pro NAS series becomes the replacement and takeover of our previous Atom-based NAS series. We have officially migrated the whole NAS system to an upgraded CPU featuring the Intel Dual Core and Quad Core Celeron based on the Baytrail platform. The platform is low power and powerful that supports video transcoding and virtualization acceleration, enabling a lot more personal cloud and private cloud features compared to our other generation of NAS. With its user-friendly design, it is very easy to install and easy to use and with many more powerful and unique features. Some new and unique features of the TSX51 and X53 Pro Series NAS include Virtualization Station, a centralized virtualization management which allows you to operate different OS such as Windows, Linux, and Unix on the NAS. Ultimately, you can share the computing power and own multiple desktops with different operating systems on the cloud. HDMI output is a feature that is available for all Celeron Series NAS. You can use it as a home theater server with its inbuilt XVMC player, or use the NAS like a PC with a new QVPC technology. Hardware accelerated transcoding is featured in both the TSX51 and X53 Pro Series NAS. Both series NAS will have superior real-time and offline full HD tr video transcoding capabilities for converting videos to ensure the best quality streams on your devices, such as your iPhones, Android phones, tablets, computers, and smart TVs. The TSX51 series comes in five models, including the HS251, which has a fanless design. From there, we have the series ranging from 2 bays, 4 bays, 6 bays, to 8 bays. The TSX51 series uses a dual-core Intel Celeron 2.41 GHz processor, first up to 2.58 GHz. All of them supports dual Ethernet LAN ports and comes in two different SKUs, with 1 GB memory and 4 GB with expandable up to 8 GB. For users that want to use the NAS for virtualization purposes, we recommend users in choosing the 4 GB memory for better performance. The QNAP TSX53 Pro Series NAS comes in 2-bay, 4-bay, 6-bay, and 8-bays. These are NASs suited for SMBs as they are more powerful, featuring the cutting-edge quad-core Intel Celeron 2.0 GHz processor, first up to 2.41 GHz. While the 2-bay supports 2 LAN ports, the rest of the series supports 4 LAN ports. This series also has two SKUs with options of 2 gig and 8 gig memory. Ideally, it's designed for SMBs and users that may want to do ISCC IP SAN, NFS data storage for VMware, Citrix, and Hyper-V. The QNAP Intel Baytrail NAS series surpasses the competition in many specs, including the CPU, memory, virtualization capability, HDMI output, and hardware video transcoding. The TSX53 and 51 series both uses the Celeron dual and quad-core processor, while our competitors' up-to-date models uses Intel Atom and Intel Evansport two-core processors. The memory support of both series support up to 8 gigs, while the competitors only support up to 2 gig or 1 gig. Network ports for 53 series, which is the series we recommend for SMB, supports 4 gigabit Ethernet, while the 51 series supports 2 gigabit Ethernet. TSX51 and 53 series is providing unique features like no other competition can do, such as the mentioned QVPC, HDMI output, better on the fly and offline video transcoding, virtualization station supports. Based on Linux, QTS4 is designed to deliver high performance applications and services, fulfilling your needs in file sharing, storage management, backup, virtual environments, multimedia, surveillance, and more. It is very easy to use and acts as a secure and reliable storage platform with a built-in RAID protection. The OS is designed to be user-oriented with various applications aimed towards home use, multimedia centralization, business applications, backup, and more. 
A true private cloud is dictated by the ability of it being able to let you access your files and different virtual PC desktops wherever you go. Since it is HTML5 supported, you could access the different VPCs on your mobile phones and your Macs along with your PCs with secured access right controls. The QNAC NAS can also deploy at home as a digital home theater, which can let you stream all your digital contents right off the NAS to your TV. The supported features make it ideal, such as the native built-in XBMC by using the HDMI port, Plex, Apple AirPlay, DLNA, and major home automation control systems such as Crestron and Control 4. The HD station is an exclusive feature that allows users to connect the NAS to a display such as your TV or monitor for viewing media stored in the NAS. It supports 7.1 surrounding sound pass-through, which makes it very appealing for a well-rounded and fully equipped home theater. The XBMC is a native built-in media centralization system and is very well integrated with Control 4 and Crestron home automation systems. The QNAP virtual PC technology allows businesses and small offices to use the NAS as a PC and a storage system all at once. Users can browse the web with a built-in Chrome browser and take advantage of the surveillance feature to have live monitoring and storing once the HDMI is connected from the NAS to a monitor. Today, HD videos and movies are becoming more popular, which means that our files are getting larger. The transcoding feature positions the TSX53 Pro and TSX51 series to a whole new different level. The new Baytrail platform gives us the ability to do hardware transcoding, which allows media streaming depending on network status, device capability, and also options for users to choose different sizes of stream and transcoding. For an example, I'm using an iPad mini. My movie is 6 gigs, which is a Blu-ray quality file. I could choose to play my file in 720p since my screen is fairly small. Both series of NAS are powerful enough to transcode on the fly, which is in real time, or offline transcoding, which supports up to 4K resolution video files. The App Center, which encompasses hundreds of applications, is a very unique feature that we designed for our users. There are hundreds of active developers in this new network that we aim to expand. Many popular applications or partner solutions are available free for users to explore and download. Installing and updating has been made very easy, similar to the Apple and Android App Store. To gain the full experience of owning a personal cloud, QNAP has designed many mobile apps for both iOS and Android users. Now we have entered a generation where point and shoots are becoming more obsolete. Smartphones are beginning to take over for everyday photography. While smartphone equipped with a standard of 16 gig memory capacity, everyone typically uses up the space pretty quickly. Now, with QFile, users can virtually enlarge the capacity of their mobile devices, such as phones and tablets. It can let users manage their NAS, manage files, auto-upload photos, offline file reading, file share, and stream media contents. QManager allows users to monitor their NAS system statuses, remote shutdown restart, manage downloads, backup tasks, and connection statuses. QMusic is an app that lets users enjoy their music on demand, browse music library, and play music offline. There are more features in detail. The NAS can act as your affordable unified storage that can be utilized as a network shared storage of the virtualization environments of small businesses. It serves as both a NAS and IPSAN, which can run concurrently. By connecting external drives to the Turbo NAS via the USB ports, users can easily configure and copy the shared folders on the Turbo NAS to the external devices. The QNAP NetBack replicator helps backup files from window PCs to one or multiple Turbo NAS units on the network. The operation is very simple, and the data backup can be done in just a few clicks, and the setting of real-time synchronization, schedule backup, and auto backup. The Turbo NAS supports Apple Time Machine and provides Mac OS users with an effortless solution to backup data to the Turbo NAS. The Turbo NAS is compatible with various renowned backup software on the market, such as Veeam, Com Vault, Acronis True Image, CA Arcser Backup, Retrospect, Semantic, backup, and so on. There are multiple disaster recovery solutions, such as RTRR, which is a proprietary protocol that lets users monitor any file change and replicate important files from one NAS to another NAS across network by schedule or in real time. RSync is also supported, and users can backup data to a remote standard RSync server on a scheduled basis. Another option is to backup to the cloud servers, such as Amazon S3, 
Amazon Glacier, Microsoft Azure, Elephant Drive, Dropbox, and Google Drive. The QNAP NAS is virtualization ready, as it can also be used as a data store, which support both NFS and ISCC. It is VMware ready, Citrix ready, and Microsoft Hyper-V compatible. The Turbo NAS leverages the benefits from virtualization solutions to help users in the IT environment to flexibly deploy and manage the virtualization environment and improve work efficiency. QNAP NAS can run partner solutions as an ideal server platform. There are two approaches. One, working with the partner on development. The partner's app, which is Linux-based, can be published to the App Center. The other approach is if the NAS acts as an IoT application server and run on third-party apps. The partner's app will be wrapped up in the VM that can run on top of the same storage unit with different OS, such as Windows and Linux, via QNAP Virtualization Station. Another feature is the Surveillance Station, which is available on the QTS 4.1. The surveillance station supports thousands of IP cameras and can easily record using a NAS as a video recorder. And the, for the TSX53 Pro and TSX51 series NAS, once the user plug in the HDMI port to a monitor, it can then be used as a local display with no PC required to power the program. Now for a live demo. In the first picture on the left, the NAS is connected to the monitor with no PC. The QTS OS will appear on the screen instantly. On the second picture, you can use the Chrome browser and also check your Gmail. On the left is a picture of the NAS and the monitor that shows a Windows desktop. By accessing the HD station, the NAS is running on a hypervisor which allows us to use the NAS as a PC. While the NAS acts as a PC, it is still functioning and running as a NAS. And the picture on the right is the screen of XBMC, which is the built-in media server that lets you directly stream and access your media files once you connect your NAS to a display. The QNAP TSX51 and TSX53 Pro Series NAS comes with the QTS 4.1 OS. Both series uniquely features the Intel BayTrail platform. As we migrate from the Atom platform, both series become more powerful and also power efficient. The 51 series is using the Intel Celeron dual core, and the 53 series is using quad core. Both series range from 2 bay, 4 bay, 6 bay, and 8 bay towers. Both series have two memory SKUs. The TSX51 comes in 1 gig and 4 gig versions, while the TSX53 Pro series comes in 2 gigs and 8 gigs versions. Three best features include the media transcoding capabilities that support on the fly and offline transcoding, with a note that offline transcoding can support up to 4K resolution videos, virtualization station that allows users to have multiple desktops on the cloud, and HDMI local display featuring the QVPC technology and XBMC media server. The QTS 4.1 OS is the new operating system that is now equipped throughout all of our NAS series. Rich in applications, the QTS 4.1 have many unique features, such as allowing users to store, backup, and share files securely, an ideal backup destination that supports free backup services for Windows users, Apple Time Machine, virtualization backup such as RTRR, third-party backup, and real-time backup to the cloud storage providers. Virtualization Station is a new feature which allows users to run multiple OS on one NAS. HDMI Local Display featuring the HD station with its built-in XBMC media server that supports 7.1 surround sound along with the new QVPC technology. Media Transcoding with the on-the-fly and offline transcoding. Data Store Solution for Server's Virtualization Environment by ISCC and NFS. Home Media Storage Center that supports Plex, DLNA, and Apple AirPlay. Control 4 and Crestron Home Automation Integration and Certified. Mobile App Support and the App Center. Here are some links to some videos that you can reference. In this chart, you can see that the TSX70 and the X80 series are higher in performance with more powerful options, whereas the quad-core Celeron-based TSX53 series NAS is considered a powerful, low-power, and affordable choice. For the home-based NAS products, we have the TSX51 series, which is ideal as a home storage center. On the top, we have the Tower TSX70 series, which uses an i3 dual-core processor. And this is it for now. Thank you for listening, and please contact us if you have any questions. Please email usasales at qnap.com.